I mean, masks are always controversial. This whole this whole COVID-19 thing has been controversial and also very much in, in the parenting space. So what it looks like right now is the kids are back. It's not mandated that they wear. Um, the mandates have been lifted. Um, some school boards tried to fight to extend the mandates, but they were unsuccessful. Uh, also gone are uh, social distancing. Um, they're not in their cohorts anymore. So Jason, the kids used to always be with a cohort when they ate, ate lunch or when they went out for recess. Now it's like a regular free for all. It's like regular recess and, and after school activities. And there's going to be graduations and there's going to be um, a field trips. So all of that is looking, looking back to normal. Um, they are still required, staff and students are still required to do a little self check every morning for COVID-19 symptoms. Um, but yes, with all of this, parents have opinions, right? They have big opinions about pretty much everything. So I would say the parents who wanted the mask mandates to stay, they were arguing a few things. One that you mentioned, which was, we're just back from March break. Yeah. Right? So like families have traveled, they've been with other people, they've had guests over. So a lot of people who wanted to keep the mask mandates going, wanted it, they wanted it for a couple of weeks just because of the March break thing. The other thing that, this is a really interesting dynamic too, is that um, they wanted the mask mandate to stay because they want their kids to continue wearing masks and they're worried about their kids getting bullied for wanting to wear their masks. Yeah, I mean, that that's definitely got to be a thing. That's like wearing the uncool clothing. But in this case, it's the uncool medical thing that your parents want you to do. And, you know, what type of advice could you give to parents and, and how to because I mean, kids are going to go and they're going to take them off. Right. I think that a lot right. of us know that. And I think, you know, and, and I think it's a case of, you know, do what works for you. And certainly nobody should be getting bullied for wearing a mask if they're more comfortable wearing a mask. And I think this is a bigger conversation about jet in general, like, you know, about teaching our kids, you know what, we have to respect what makes other people comfortable. Mm -hmm. If it's not our choice, that's fine. That's their choice. We need to respect that. So yeah, that's, um, but, but as it turns out, um, I, I'm hearing things like 50% of kids are still wearing masks. Oh. I've got kids who want to wear, I've got a kid who's like in the hallways. Yes. When I'm sitting at my desk. No. So I think everybody's kind of just doing what they're, they're feeling a bit, bit safer with and, and, and just, just remembering to, to respect that. And I think parents are having a struggle balancing, you know, keeping their, keep getting things back to normal, but also keeping their kids safe. Yeah, no doubt. But I think one of the great things that you've pointed out here is just off the top of this segment, you said, you know, kids are back in school. We're looking at going out for recess, not having to have a buddy, being in cafeterias, going to proms. And I can't even imagine being in high school over the past two years and missing out on graduation and prom. So overall, to me, this just feels like a giant positive that's going on right now. It does feel like things are getting back to normal. And I got to say, I was prom dress shopping with one of my kids last week, and it felt really good because the last kid who had prom bought the fancy outfit and still sitting in a closet upstairs not having been worn of course this kid wouldn't wear the same thing so it was shopping again <laughs> but it does feel nice to see um things are getting a little bit back to normal for these kids it's important for them socially